This past weekend of March the 18th was the dedication ceremony of the Bruce Beach Park plaque. And here are some highlights of the day. Yes, we back again. Yes, we, monumental moment. Monumental, back again. We've invested so many years, right? Yes, yes. I was to learn how to swim. That's on my Oh, pocket. good. And I said, uh -huh. surfing is next. So I All guess right. I was meant to be. You sure can. Right yes. <laughs> oh, my, look at how you. Okay. But they don't know they walk amongst the sleeping gods. Uh -huh. Her name is Aunt Lizzie. Aunt I, Lizzie. Uh -huh. And she lives off of Alvarado. Mm -hmm. I came here from Kansas around the turn of the century. And she lived with my great great grandfather so, uh, and his family, um, William Patterson. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, she she was um, a, just I hear just a wonderful woman. And, wow. Um, I'm not sure, but I think someone in my family told me she used to cook for Humphrey Bogart. Oh, really? I, it, I'm trying to get uh -huh. the era right. I okay. think it was her. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> but I heard that. But wow. she was a really good cook. Some of the dishes I cook today mm -hmm. have to be passed down from her. Oh, of course. Oh, wow. Of course they are. That's how it works. So this is tree. <laughs> here it is. Here it is. Right here. There it is. Oh, wow. And they don't even know where they live. Wow. That's William Patterson, her brother. They moved here um, on Alvarado. Yep. Wow. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Now. Homecoming 217. That's a full circle moment right there. <laughs> we done found the house and then went to, and then, and now we yeah. get invited in. Just be careful coming over. And they're so nice. Oh, yeah, I used Let to me run get high no, it was <laughs> We're going in. Oh, wow. So everything should be. Didn't know you was gonna know all these black people today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get out of the way. Thank you. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, so have anything been changed since, uh, since so nice. Not since we moved in. Okay. I I I you know it's interesting. I figured it was historical because the layout is not Oh yes. This is it's yeah. it's not ideal. Like both of the bathrooms are in the bedroom. So you know in a modern day home there'd be a bathroom out here too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so each one of them has a bathroom. Oh, okay. That looks nice. I love this yeah. And now yeah. it's nice, it's pretty what you did with it. I love your you know what it probably did it. So uh, hospitable. Because we were about to leave, I said, there we got to go in there and tell them. <laughs> that's great. That's yeah, and the, the, and the two houses across the street also. Mm -hmm. That's Major George Prelo and Ethel Prelo and their their children, the mother of which was my grand, my godmother's mother. Mm -hmm. So they lived here, mm -hmm. and he was a, uh, a preacher. Yeah, and it was what? It was lot four, block 12. Mm. So it was right so it was, here. It was in the park. And so her mm -hmm. objection was that the way this kind of read was as if everybody was on the outside. Then when they said, well, we explained it later on, it's like, well, you didn't need to do it that way at all. Mm -hmm. Pushed to get the deal to give them money mm -hmm. and, and recognize all of this. Wow. But it couldn't, they couldn't do anything about anybody else because wow. that was this. Mm -hmm. So even my godmother and her family, they're not trying to say pay us money. We just want you to apologize yeah. and get the plaque right. Right. So they only got money because of the county down there, but because the city of the Manhattan. The supervisor said yes. The city of Manhattan hasn't said they're giving up the dime. Okay, so this, this is, is the city. This is their dime. Right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So yeah, so the people up here did not get it. Only the down there. Wow. Okay. Because that's on the county land, and the county is trying to make right. 
That makes sense. That makes that makes sense. Yeah. And it required that in order to get the Negroes out and get a big enough piece of land, they had to get rid of two white people. Mm. So they managed to put in how many white-owned properties mm -hmm. mm. that sat undeveloped among the black-owned properties Wow. also condemned. Mm -hmm. So now they weren't developed. There was nothing, nobody living on those lands. Mm -hmm. That's if they even telling the truth about that. Well, yeah. yeah. So the people who were living on the land, mm. however... So they didn't mention how many people were on the land. They just mentioned. Well, and that's. And it had to probably be more than well, 25. You know so here, when they said ultimately the city council of HS Park in the domain to acquire the land for use as a public park, as a result, the city condemned the properties of the Bruces, the Prelos, the Johnsons, Miss Patterson, and Miss Sanders. All of them were on the park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. There were other people who had land. Then 25 white-owned properties that sat undeveloped among the black-owned properties were also condemned. Because the question is, it was a numbers game. Because let's say you have 100 right. black folks that have houses, right? They get rid of the 25 white. 25 white-owned white properties, and we don't have a number of so, black so if you have, people if you have, displaced. Yeah, so if you have 150 mm. uh, black folks, 25 is a small number. So they got to go, because we want the whole land back. Well, the, as you can see, the prelos had three, four children. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, and their children had children. So if yeah. they had just left them alone, yeah. So yeah. we we had man beats. Dedication this weekend honoring the history of Bruce's Beach. The Black Resort owners had the beachfront property taken from them in the 1920s. City leaders seized the land through eminent domain, claiming it was needed for a park. Other Black families who owned cottages nearby also lost their property. Last year, the deed was transferred to the descendants of Willa and Charles Bruce. I personally feel like I, you know, helped contribute it, and just to see this happen is, is a great, you know, it's like being on the right side of history. Mimi Miller had created viral videos about the history of the property where she often serves. Earlier this year, the Bruce family heirs exercised their option to sell the land back to L.A. County for $20 million. 